యా సో వెల్కమ్ టు దుర్గా సాఫ్ట్ ఆన్లైన్ ట్రైనింగ్ సెషన్స్ అండ్ వెల్కమ్ టు కోర్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ పైథాన్ కోర్ అండ్ అడ్వాన్స్డ్ పైథాన్ so core and advanced python online online batch it is it is nothing but online batch not offline and myself k prakash babu having 15 plus years of experience as a trainer and in our durga soft i am taking the classes on python programming so java programming next and after that so i am taking logic logic based programming where uh, around 350 programs we are going to cover so with all programming languages implementation like c java and then python and even i am cover i am taking data structures with uh, java and python so these are the subjects which i am handling in our durga soft as of now so we are we are uh, starting a new online batch on core and advanced python sir what is the title of this course in the sense the title of the course is nothing but core and advanced python core and advanced python and so what is the duration of this course the duration of this course is around 45 days 45 days in the sense 45 hours actually okay so excluding sundays holidays like this so we are going to spend exactly 45 45 hours so within that we are going to finish the syllabus what about the timings so the timings of this session is 10 10 pm to 11 pm sir of course i know so it is a very hard time for you people but nothing will be there you can adjust if you want I will prepone this class for 15 minutes or half an hour like that. So that I can't give conclusion now after uh, uh, taking the regular classes, after completion of all these demos. So based on the number of registrations, if everyone is okay at 9.30 or 9.45, then slightly I will move. Otherwise, so it will be from 10 to 11 o'clock. Okay. So on Monday to Monday to Monday to monday to friday sir saturday and sunday there won't be any session but sunday definitely no session will be there but on saturday is doubts clarification sections okay some programming sessions multiple choice questions interview questions like that i am planning some special sessions on saturdays that we will see sir please be ready to attend extra classes also okay so don't feel that only monday to friday it is sufficient to take no you need to spend some extra time also to improve your programming skills and when you are doing the programs you will get more doubts okay so all the doubts you can write it on paper and you can ask on one doubts clarification section so there i will be interacting if no one is there one to one also we can interact so like that special classes will be there then next and after that what is the fees for this batch i think you can see in the demo link itself they provided the complete information about this course sir which is nothing but so the course fees is rupees 5000 how many demos you are going to take sir almost we are going to spend so four demos four demos will be there four demos will be there after that immediately we will start our classes okay next sir to whom we need to contact if i'm if i'm willing to continue to whom we need to contact 8096-969696 or you can even call to Durga Soft online online training at gmail.com you can you can send a mail to this also our team will respond of course after completion of the session today or tomorrow they are going to share okay some feedback mail also in that complete information will be there like uh, to which number you have to make the payment everything will be there this is nothing but information about the course sir what benefits you are providing so we have so many trainers are there even in our durga soft outside and we have so many youtube videos are there we have some thousands of books are there so if i am learning python from you what extra benefits i am going to get very simple sir here each and every topic 
with a clear explanation with the clear explanation maximum i am going to take diagrams sir okay so visualization is very very important nowadays so uh, before pandemic situation before this lockdown okay so the people are uh, the students are going to attend the regular offline classes there we are taking different different color chart pieces and we are going to draw on the blackboard and we will demonstrate how the flow of execution will be there okay if you take for loop how initialization is going to be happened next time what will be the change of that variable like we are using different type kind of colorful uh, uh, things in the blackboard but uh, these online classes we can't do right but you can expect these things from my, my side my classes so when i am taking the topic i will explain that topic in a clear manner suppose if you are not understanding a program so step by step what is happening along with the diagram so we have free hand tools are there so like we are going to take the diagrams like this okay suppose if i want to explain any while loop i am going to draw like this and i am going to demonstrate everything you can able to expect from these classes point number 1 sir second point see the programming concepts generally the people are going to forget once if the class got completed so they can remember the topic titles but internal definition those things they don't know of course fundamentals wise there is no problem when we are talking about object oriented programming suppose if the interview person is asking what is mean by overloading and what is mean by overriding okay so the people they know about the concepts but they can't express with the help of the terminologies like what is mean by overloading you have to explain in the object oriented terms so majority of the students are not in a position to understand the definitions properly but they can implement the program so that's why what i am going to take for you people is maximum i am going to take real time real time are funny examples so that easily you can able to remember the definition sir if child is not satisfied with the parent decision then child can take own decision this concept is called as overriding okay sir you can take one either marriage example okay or financial example so that uh, easily that concept will be injected into your mind polymorphism so ability to do more than one task every student is going to do multiple tasks in the home especially in the online classes like if we are taking by converting by taking a simple simple examples real time scenarios it will be very clearly injected into your mind that you can expect sir so next here more concentration will be there on programming or i can say coding coding or i can say logical logical skills main focus will be on this sir whenever i am taking a topic sir this is the definition of x y z topic definitely i will show you a program on that so that easily that concept will be there in your mind suppose if i am taking pass keyword how you can use i will take one example sir i want to i want to eliminate uh, the numbers which are ending with 3 how to write the code for that so if i am writing the code for that with very clear explanation such type of problems such type of uh, problems if you are getting so the problem which we solved will act as a template or format for rest of the programs that's why that logical thinking programming concepts are very very important next and after that meanwhile we are going to see mcqs also not small small M mcqs sir for every topic minimum some 10 to 15 mcqs we are going to see where i am going to give you an program so this is the python program can you please find output of this python program or in this python program there is one error in which line the error is occurred so this line is misplaced where you have to place like this so even for the certification this mcqs will be useful for you people okay we are going to focus on this mcqs also and even after completion of the uh, uh, what you can call our course i am going to share interview questions starting from beginning to ending 
around uh, 100 plus questions will be there i already prepared some videos that videos bunch 100 plus videos will be there with a short one minute to maximum five to six minutes so in every video i explained one question answer for that one question answer for that so when you are going in a bus or when you have a free time just 10 questions per week or when you have a full time so 20 questions per hour so you can listen just uh, keep your headsets and switch on the playlist you are going to get that okay so that kind of facility also we are going to provide and last very very important minimum sir 10 coding coding questions 10 coding questions at a top level at a top level sir interview questions at a top level so recently asked questions are there that part also i am going to discuss especially these things will be planned only on weekends or something like that these are nothing but the benefits what you are going to get from this python online training okay so this is nothing but the details of our course and this is nothing but the benefits what we are going to get from this okay sir apart from this i am going to share the syllabus what topics we are going to cover sir i divided this syllabus into some modules i am going to take the classes based on that modules only okay up to this if you are having any queries please you can ask all your queries after that i will start explaining the syllabus any doubt uh, someone is asking uh, is it mandatory to learn dsa to become expert if yes we are expecting dsa in this course definitely definitely so dsa with the java is already going on in the evening session definitely dsa with python also uh, within few days you can expect it. definitely definitely sir one question is there uh, uh, it will be 10 10 to 11 or can we switch to 9 30 uh, that's what i told sir actually it is fixed 10 to 11 as of now officially okay uh, uh, around 18 members are there in the session Mm -hmm. uh, maybe if 10 or 15 registrations got completed mm -hmm. then uh, I will announce in that uh, batch I think probably everyone is okay with the 9.30 or 9.45 so because timing is uh, too much different right that's why maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes I will pre on the class yes. but that Sir, decision will be taken morning, that, one, timing? Uh, that decision will be taken based on every student uh, uh, confirmation okay amit clear okay sir yeah sir, good, hello. Good, good evening yes sir. good evening uh, is there any morning batch available uh, no sir no sir as of now there is no morning batch there is no morning batch sir as of this timing to morning if no, possible no sir. No, no sir no sir no sir as of now there is no morning batch but you can expect soon means another some 20 days or 30 days after that you can expect a morning python batch it will be taught by you only now mm, yeah myself only okay and every saturday there will be doubt clearing sessions and that mcq interview and 10 coding questions no sir every sunday won't be there every saturday uh, every saturday won't be there that is depending on see so suppose if i am taking a uh, for loop based examples if i am taking according to me curriculum wise around 10 programs we are going to discuss so i will i will take that class on friday and i will ask the students to join on saturday also so that extra some 10 or 15 programs i am going to explain for them that is optional okay and so uh, some, how sometimes many... coding questions sometimes if the more doubts are there doubts clarification sections like that we will plan according to flow okay, okay? Okay, and how many coding questions like we are uh, expected to cover? Uh, sir, pr more programs we are going to practice here because Python is very easy programming language, sir. That's why uh, if you are getting any problem into your desk, easily you can able to solve. So you can think and you can solve easily. But in addition to that, at the top level, some questions I am going to take. These 10 questions are not that much easy. We have to put more concentration on this because... Uh, some TCS, Vipro, okay, recently 
uh, uh, TCS has conducted so many coding uh, exams. So from that, we filtered some questions. We have some database. So we collected some data. From that, I'm going to give some top level questions. This is, I, I added this one only for your batch because I have some 20 to 15 questions are there. Recently, I received from one uh, consultancy. So those questions I'm going to uh, explain here. In that, uh, top level questions are there, moderate level questions also there, okay? Sir, okay, videos will and provide your syllabus, like uh, I have seen over 100 plus coding questions will be covered, like... Mm, if you if you count from the beginning, uh, for, from the first okay. program itself, definitely 100 plus questions you are going to get, coding questions. Okay. In the, de in the demos itself, I am going to take 20 programs, <laughs> okay? Sir, videos of the of every class will be provided, sir. Uh, once if the session got completed, uh, because this is a late night session, maybe you can expect in the early morning they will upload. Right. Uh, why? Because sir, like I actually joined uh, for another sir, Vijay sir, I suppose. Mm -hmm. uh, because of my work hours, I couldn't log in. Like it was in the morning five and eight on six. Uh, but okay. uh, so that was not possible because I work in a late night shift. So I'll be there till. At uh, two p.m. night, uh, okay. so I made the payment, uh, uh -huh. half of payment I made. Can can I would like to continue with your class, sir? Is that possible? And that you can discuss with our admin, admin team, sir. You can make okay. a call to them and you can talk with them. Okay. Okay, but videos will be provided, right, sir? Yeah, videos will be provided. See, uh, run, uh, yeah, running notes and videos will be provided for you people, sir. Okay, uh, these are running notes uh, resources. Running notes is a lifetime validity. And I'm going to give some hacker rank link where you can practice the program. It is also lifetime validity. And I'm going to share interview questions, interview questions videos. It is also lifetime validity. And these are 10 coding questions also I'm, I'm going to discuss. And I will give the up videos also. This is also lifetime validity. But okay. only these are recorded sessions, recorded sessions. That is lectures will be there, right? Our regular class lectures. This will be given for you only for six months access. That's all. Okay. This part of it is class. Okay. Yes, yes. And uh, another uh, two questions, sir. Uh, one is that like usually other trainers, uh, they, they're taking 75 days or something like that. Uh, um, like, so... Sir, if you if you take my core Java classes, I have given very clearly in the beginning. Okay. So compulsory two months duration is there. Two months duration will be there. Uh, for my my core Java classes, 60 hours I'm going to take. So because explaining the Java is a somewhat difficult, but Python, I think uh, maybe you know very well, Python is a very easy programming language. If I'm showing one hour, one hour class, if I'm telling, so 15 to 20 minutes, if I'm giving one coding question, you are going to get the ideas automatically. That much easiness will be there, sir. Okay, fine. Frankly but, speaking, yeah. it is very easy. Just with some small guidance, you can do. Okay. No problem, sir. One final question, sir. I am a Power BI consultant, sir. Okay. Uh, like, uh, uh, in the earlier class, I've been told that uh, because we use uh, libraries like NumPy, uh, Matplotlib, uh, so all those would be covered in our session, sir, in this session. Uh, sir, not uh, uh, advanced level, sir, but up to 20 to 30 percent, I will. I will. Okay, the matplotlib, uh, numpy. Yes, matplotlib, numpy, pandas, these things will be covered. Not uh, that much extent because that will be input for data science and other courses. But here in the Python, it won't come. But because the students are willing to see the libraries, that's why. So just I am going to cover some 15 to 20 percent that matplotlib, numpy, pandas, these things. Okay. Thank you. Sir. Right. Any other queries? Uh, how much will be the oops uh, that part will be covered? Uh, sir, oops, main part is oops only, sir. Around two weeks we are going to spend only on oops. Okay, almost every topic from corner to corner we are going to cover because that is the main aspect in our Python. Okay. Yeah, actually, uh, I already uh, have some uh, data science background. So uh, currently, I'm struggling with uh, some advanced level of uh, Python coding. Okay, so okay. that's why I was asking. And another thing is, I am also part of BJSR uh, batch uh, that is in weekend. So okay. I, I am not able to join his morning or evening batch okay, because okay. of my office hours. Okay. 
okay so okay uh, i also want to continue with uh, your batch that would be good for me uh, so sir you can you, know, you can you can yeah yeah you can talk with admin team sir because i don't have any rights to take the decision on this matter just you yeah, can okay. consult your team okay they okay. they will, they will provide support yeah sir can i discuss syllabus now yes right. sir please yes. right sir coming to the syllabus so i divided this syllabus into different different modules in the first module in the first module i am going to cover introduction okay i am going to cover introduction introduction to python sir what is python how we can able to use this python in the real time scenarios when compared with the other languages how beautiful this python is why this much boom is there for python like everything who invented how this language came like that then installation installation of uh, python related softwares there are so many softwares are there like you can use ides okay we have uh, jupiter lab is there okay uh, then we have uh, uh, atom editor is there so vs code edit plus so even you can run the programs in the command prompt we have so many tools are there so of course depending on the topic i am going to use the tools maximum i will try to cover all the tools okay so that installation process next and after that see when we are learning any programming language when we are learning any programming language fundamentals are very very important if you want to develop any program some rules and regulations set of activities these fundamentals are very very important after that sir features of python sir why i need to learn python is there any extra facilities are there okay like java is having some kind of buzzwords like is python is having any features definitely it will be there so that part also we are going to cover here sir next and after that see in every programming language there are three important main building blocks that we have to see which is nothing but keywords next and after that identifiers next and after that comments these are very very important in every programming language there are some predefined reserved words will be there called as keywords there are some uh, the words which you need to define those are called as identifiers and when we are writing the program so to make that program understandable by other person third party so you have to write the description about the code something like a comment sir have you observed in your childhood when we are reading a textbook if any english word is came which is unable to pronounce or if you don't know the meaning by you are taking a pencil and you are making underline and you are going to write the meaning of that word in the top it is something like a commenting that word in the same way in programming also we have to use of course we won't focus more on this but in the real time so when you are sitting on a project suddenly if you are going to another project if a new candidate came into your place he need to understand the code which you have written right for that these comments are going to be beneficial highly recommended to write the comments for projects okay so these are the very very important things after that we know in in every programming language data types are going to play an important role data type means what what type of data you are using in the program sir i want to develop one employee application like a uh, salary calculation i want to do so i will keep some thumb impression uh, thumb thumb device so whenever an employee entered into that particular organization he need to punch that thumb so once if he is leaving then again he need to punch so i need to capture the date and time and based on that how many hours he is in the office so if everything is okay i need to calculate the salary okay and i want to i want to re get a report on every month end so salary salary pay slips i want to generate such a type of application i want to develop first we are going to think what are the properties what are the attributes that we need to take employee will have id unique id names will be their email id so mobile number okay so uh, designation salary hra da so allowances so n number of things will be there all these things you can gather 
what type of data we have to choose if you take time time data type is there if you take date date type will be there if you take salary floating point values will be there if you take number of days working days integer value if you take email id characters will be there group of characters string like that data types will be there in every programming language even in python also sir and one more thing uh, type casting is there type casting means what so if you have one type of data suddenly you need to convert to another type example sir i purchased one liter petrol so the liter petrol is 112.05 he is going to tell sir can you please give 112 sufficient have you observed that 0.2 paisa they are not going to take even we can't even measure so what what is happening there floating point value is converted into integer suppose if your salary is 10000 so it won't be measured as a 10000 it will be measured as a 10000.0 even in your account balance also you can check have you observed so these kind of things are nothing but what a type casting converting one type of data into another type of data sir this is the biggest asset in the uh, python sir do you know recently i have seen one code sir abc abd sir abe like this they have given a set of characters can you please remove the characters which are duplicated sir how you are going to remove sir a b c okay and then d e like this we are expecting the output very simple you can convert this into which data form it is string you have to convert into list and you have to convert it into set then again you have to convert it into string once if you convert from list to set set won't allow any duplicates automatically it will be removed you are not required to write any single line of code also inbuilt functions are there so such a type of things are called as what type casting type casting means what converting from one type of data into another type of data next Hello. after this yes but uh, the example which you have given is it, it is like string from string mm -hmm. you are converting it into list mm -hmm. Then you are yes, converting sir. it into set, but uh, yes. list and sets are not data types, no? Who told, sir? <laughs> list, Who set told and tuple, list, set and tuple, they are more just like an array, I guess. No, no, no. Those are data types only. See, uh, arrays, structures, uh, stack, queue, everything is a data type only. Data type means what? Employee is a data type. But some data types are provided by python java c c++ some data types we are going to define the data types which are coming along with the programming are called as primitive data types and the data types which we are defining are called as abstract data type now you got clarity okay so these are abstract data types mm, yes that's all okay sir so next term we have io functions are there like input and output this is very very common requirement right if you take any programming language, reading the data from the user is always recommended. So after some calculation, you need to print the result. You can print either to console or you can print to file or you can print to database. That is common requirement, right? So that can be done by using this IO statements. There are various IO statements out there. Sir, Python is best suitable for IO statements. Okay, you can enjoy this class like anything. Around one and a half hour, I am going to take for input output statements. Different, different notations are there, sir. Easily, you can able to understand. The person who don't know anything about programming, they can enjoy this. Okay, no confusion. Everything will be clearly. Syntax is also very easy. Like that, you are going to get. Next, after this, very, very important operators and uh, precedence. Sir, operator means what? So if you want to do any operation, like I want to add three numbers, we are taking the help of plus symbol, right? That plus symbol is called as operator. I have two conditions are there. Whether a person age is greater than or equal to 18 and that a person is having movie ticket then the watchman is going to allow that person into the movie theater have you observed that watchman is checking two conditions what is the condition do you have the ticket in your hand 
second condition is your age is greater than or equal to 18 have you observed so when we have two conditions if these two conditions are satisfied then only you are allowed to enter into the theater have you observed it is an operator that operator is taking the decision which thing you have to execute which thing you have to uh, 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 means filter so those things will come under which concept operators next and after that we have selection statements are there okay next and after that iterative iterative statements are there next and after that transfer transfer statements are there transfer statements are there then inner inner loops are there inner loops are there okay so even this inner loops also called as nested loops okay so these these topics will be covered covered under module one in the first module we are going to cover these things along with the programs so in this module if you understand very clearly if you put more focus on this module rest of the modules will become very easy because maximum coding in python will be covered in this first module only and second module in the second how, module, how long will be the module one sir that depends on the class uh, content sir because sometimes i will take one hour sometimes 45 minutes sometimes one hour 15 minutes like that depend on the topic okay but yeah, flow yeah, will but flow will be of, uh, hmm? okay how many days uh, for module one uh sir that that's what i'm telling the total syllabus will be covered within 45 days so i can't give exact uh, duration sir okay right so module two in the second module in python there are some inbuilt data structures are there in python there are some inbuilt data structures are there this is the biggest asset of python i can say if you are strong in module two you can do any program in python so that much important just now i have told one example right removing the duplicates if anywhere removing the duplicate concept came immediately your mind should go for python data structures that much important total we have five data structures are there like uh, so list data sorry so string data structure okay so list data structure then we have tuple tuple data structure is there next we have set data structure is there next we have dictionary dictionary data structure is there like we have totally five data structures are there we are going to put more focus on this data structure so many example methods so many examples see uh, we are not required to write any single line of code for everything ready-made methods are there just we have to bring that method and we have to use in our program okay that's all linked list stack everything will come in this only easy easy implementation will be there okay next and after that module number three in the third module sir just whatever we we are going to discuss in first module and second module is a kind of a scripting approach scripting approach in the sense what we are going to write a sequence of instructions like one by one one by one one by one we are going to write python is going to execute all these things from the top to bottom but we have an option to create a kind of a reusability component sir i am going to make use of uh, my bike every time okay so i don't want to get that bike every time from my friend so better to purchase a new bike and uh, put it in your home whenever you require you can able to use it have you observed reusability concept when there is a maximum usage you can make it as a permanent thing and whenever you need you can make a call so it is called as reusability concept whenever reusability concept is there better to go for one beautiful approach is there called as functional programming so we are going to define a function so we can use that function whenever you required best example if you take a calculator if you take calculator in your system sir whenever you are taking something like a 10 plus a 20 have you observed result is 30 how many times you are pressing this plus button based on your requirement minimum some more than two times three times will be there right that's why whenever you are clicking on that button 
some function i defined whenever you are clicking it will be called whenever i am calling it will be invoked so like that there is one special programming is there functioning the people who came from c language c++ background they can understand this word very clearly there the entire story is going to run based on functions only sir in python there are some predefined functions are there okay and we can also create our own functions so we have predefined functions are there user defined functions also there sir i have some small project is there like student related data project is there i defined add student delete student update student okay uh, modify student okay so like that i defined some five to six functionalities can i group all these things into a student because i have another project also there in the same folder there insert means inserting about employee but here insert means inserting about student can i separate it yes you can use the word called module you can create modules in python one module can take set of functions another module can take another set of functions like you can separate like you can separate like how we are separating the syllabus in the same style we can separate functions also and even sir like multiple modules are there can i group it into another folder yes it is called as package we have packages also there so functions packages modules these things and comes under one simple concept sir like functional programming sir after covering this third module we will go for a small mini project this thing compulsory i am going to take on sunday around 30 minutes we are going to spend so with the concepts which we covered on first module second module we will bring into the third module and we will apply functional programming i will take a small mini project okay sir maybe i will read name of the user okay i will read id number of the user i will read the password okay i will i will i i will read the salary i will store it in a database or a file sir password as it is i am not going to store i will use some kind of encryption technique so these kind of things small small activities we are going to do sir so that uh, you can able to uh, get an idea how you are going to write the coding so this is nothing but third module what we have third module sir i can say maximum python will be covered in this three modules itself if you are clear with these three modules rest of the things are very simple sir maximum chances to get programming is these three modules only up to this do you have any doubts friends still we have few modules are there up to this do you have any doubts so what is difference between function module and package uh, function means independent activity module means collection of functions package means collection of modules got it okay suppose consider i have a small scenario is there uh, consider here i am developing one small project like i want to add the details of the student so i want to remove the details of the student so i want to update the student details i want to delete the student details so these things i want to do sir uh, now i am going to take the same operation for so uh, this is for a student this is for a student so this is for employee so this is for something like a product like this i have three different i can say these are modules this is one module so this is another module so this is another module like this we can say so if i am doing this program or this project by some xyz company so this is called as a package xyz is a package product is nothing but a module add is a functionality this add functionality will be there in other project also other modules also but this add is different from this add but functionality wise both are same coding wise it is different got the concept sir who asked this doubt clear okay any other queries please no queries so one query sir 
yes uh, so python we don't need to uh, define all the variables explicitly as we do in java mm, so yes how is uh, the how is python checking internally i mean which data type to take i mean what will be the real uh, mm. sir data? actually this python uh, i mean all the programming languages at a top level are divided into two types sir statically typed programming languages dynamically typed programming languages statically typed means what when if you want to use any variable in the programming compulsory in the before in the prior itself you have to declare its a type that is called as statically typed programming languages c language c++ java these are example for that dynamically typed means based on the assignment of values automatically the type will be considered so these type of languages are called as dynamically typed example java script perl script okay these python these things will comes under that which is best means dynamically typed is the best for example if i if i am declaring integer x is equal to 10 in java sir is it possible to assign any other value into the x other than integer no right are you getting no. my point yeah so but in python if i am taking x is equal to 10 in the next line also you can take x is equal to abc in the next line you can create a new student object everything is possible yes sir so after this you can use the value of x which is nothing but integer so here it will use the value of a string so it will work here we are using a student object so confusion won't be there right with only one reference variable we can run the total story are you getting my point yes sir so it is an advantage and do you know in java latest versions they replaced int with where do you remember it in the in the java latest versions so you can also declare the data type without any type like by using where keyword how we are defining in the javascript okay okay in the latest version they have replaced it so yes 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 okay. right sir let us go for the next module module number 4 in the fourth module of course it is the main thing which is nothing but object oriented programming so in short form it is called as oops of course i am not going to write the list sir around we are going to cover 50 topics with one small mini project okay i'm not going to write that 50 topics names now because you people are going to get confused that will be executed on this sir please come to this class whenever i'm discussing oops concepts i will give prior intimation compulsory one hour class will be there you have to come to that class with a pleasant mind assume you don't know anything about oops if with this knowledge you are going to come, I will explain starting from the scratch. What is object? How to create object? Reference variable means what? Everything I will relate to our real-time scenarios and I will demonstrate. So in the beginning, one or two classes, oops, concepts will be slowly going because fundamentals understanding is very, very important. Once if we start with third gear or fourth gear, then everything will become easy and you people are going to get much clarity on these hoops. That's why I'm not writing the list of topics now because to avoid the confusion. Okay. Then, sir, next thing. What is the next module we have? Fifth module. Sir, here we are going to cover some advanced topics. Like we have regular expressions are there. You know very well if you want to do validations, validations, we need to go for regular expressions. Sir, I have given username. I need to accept that username. Sir, simply reading the username from the user, putting into the database is not correct. So you can put a constraint like in that username, minimum one lowercase character should be there. One uppercase character should be there. One digit should be there. One uh, special characters. If these four are there, it can be any length. So if these four characters are there, anything, so then you can able to accept that. Sir, I have, I, I'm, I'm writing a program to read a mobile number from the user in my database. So by linking with that mobile number, I have Netflix account details are there. 
so once if the user is giving the mobile number i will validate with the netflix account if it is there i will share a otp sir taking the mobile number from the user and searching in the netflix ott database is a very big task suppose consider i have written a small program like asking the user to enter mobile number he has given the mobile number as 123 sir taking that data from the user searching in the netflix database is worst kind of programming practice the reason for that is there is no mobile number with three digit so if you accept so no problem it will read because 10 digit mobile number is an integer type three digit mobile number is also integer type and searching in the database in the database we know that minimum 10 digit mobile numbers only will be there but unnecessary time waste right so while reading from the user itself you can check whether user is giving a proper data or not if it is not proper data you can throw that result or you can throw a warning message to the user without starting communication with the database always good programming practice for that regular expressions must be required and even web scrapping sir do you know if you visit any website okay maybe for your research purpose or for your uh, uh, academics purpose sometimes they are going to ask simply your email id or mobile number by mistake if you are giving email id or mobile number what will happen sir definitely you are going to receive n number of notifications sir how how you are going to get the notifications you have not given your mail id or mobile number anywhere but how you are receiving somewhere in the research survey you have given the mobile number or email id it will be available in some website sir we have one tool is there called web scrapping we can collect the data from website collecting collecting data from website so we are going to write some two small mini project in this like one is to extract the mobile numbers from the website maybe in our durga soft and uh, KL University website is there. From that, I want to get all the email IDs from higher officials. How you can get non-sensitive information, happily you can extract, no problem. If it is a sensitive, definitely credentials will be there, like username, password, then only you can enter. Such type of data we can't retrieve. But if it is available in the web page, happily we can able to read. Okay, so as a part of this regular expression, we are going to cover this web scrapping also and very very important nowadays more demand exception handling when we are running the program suddenly if anything is happened then what will happen how you are going to deal that situation in the programming also same thing sir i am collecting the data from database i am giving streaming for some uh, theater some movie is there in my database so i i have written a python program and that movie is a streaming from the database to theater sir suddenly power gone then what will happen immediately it is going to stop right what is the alternative way sir i can put one more buffer or i can dump that total cinema into my laptop and then i can stream at least five minutes five minutes data will be buffered to my system and then that five minutes will be started when this five minutes is projecting remaining five minutes data i can extract like i can provide alternative mechanism right so that is nothing but what exception handling so when you are executing the program suddenly if something is happened then how you are going to handle the situation best example you registered for this python course sir i am explaining my first class that is object oriented programming i started then you are very eagerly waiting for that class unfortunately sir you are unable to reach home on the time you are struck in the traffic in the traffic you are there Sir, class got completed. Immediately, what you are going to do? Are you going to stop that class and attend from the next day? No, sir. You are going to home and you will spend some extra time and you are going to open the video, whatever I discussed. And before coming to the next class, you are going to watch that. Have you observed alternative way to run your task very smoothly? That is called as exception handling. If something is goes wrong, how you are going to handle? Sir, these are nothing but runtime errors handling after that multi-threading your favorite topic multi-threading means what doing multiple tasks executing multiple tasks of course from the operating system itself we are getting this feature so if any program is not using multitasking 
then that is not a good project sir i prepared a project called university results so university people asked me to develop that module so they have entered all the results into the database and they said one date and time i have to give the url for them that url should be accessed by multiple students so am i writing the program without multi threading means if a first student entered a hall ticket number my program will read that hall ticket number it will search in the database and it will give the result then only i will accept the second student details have you observed if it is the situation how many how much time it is going to take to read all the results which is not possible there you have to apply multi threading means one student request came while processing second student request third student request so like around 10 requests are coming then you can give the 10 request to the database you can get parallelly you can do if more requests are increasing you have to increase the ram speed cpu speed you have to increase still if you are unable to increase then server is going to be slow down so i think these kind of scenarios you have seen but for all these things the role is nothing but what multi threading here also we are going to see some real time projects like traffic signals producer and consumer problem like we are going to discuss then module number 6 which is very very important last module in this module sir we are going to spend some time to discuss utility concepts like what sir whatever data you are giving i will process i will display the result can i store that data in a permanent storage yes for that we have to go for file handling how to store the data in files sir excel file okay then csv file okay zip file how you can do even uh, if you have a movie or if you have a, a mp4 file you can write a python program to create a duplicate copy of that so we have so many programs on that okay then sir database database handling so there are some problems with the data uh, file handling because the data is not in an organized manner you can't write queries so in the database you have a table you can ask queries it will filter the data based on the queries so file handling database handling then we have some special modules are there like logging module okay uh, sir when the application started when the request came so when problem is coming so which because of which user credentials the problem is coming like every statistical report of your application you can maintain in one log file how to create that log file okay then in python testing is also there sir of course i am not going to fully focus on this logging and testing up to 10 to 20 percent i am going to focus okay sir testing means what so how you can do unit testing all these things we are going to cover sir for logging module one hour session testing module one hour session and pandas pandas we are going to cover okay next and after that numpy numpy module also i am going to take so next and after that matplotlib okay something like a graphical library so these are things we are going to cover in our python sir total how many modules are there six modules are there these are six modules full fledgedly we are going to complete in this 45 days seems to be the syllabus is very lengthy but nothing will be there sir file handling one and a half hour database handling half an hour okay logging module one hour like that these are utilities but if you want to uh, uh, understand all these things this first module is very very important once if you are strong in fundamentals everything will become very easy so more focus you need to put only on first module and then third module sorry fourth module because the rest of the things are very simple you can able to understand nursery level concept now uh, if you are having any queries please uh, sir uh, module 4 will be like two weeks and what about module 5 uh, sir module 5 one week sir okay 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 and uh, the loops and all loops and all more time uh, module 2 oh, sorry module 3 module, module 1 no 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 module 1 oh, okay, okay, so all okay. these things will come here. No, module 3 is then module 3 is functional programming see you have to put more focus on first module and uh, fourth module yeah. that is a main remaining uh, thing is i'm a little bit weak in the uh, actually that uh, oops part uh, 
I'm facing some issue difficulties with the uh, connecting uh, modules in my current project. So okay. that's why I joined this class actually. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no issues, no issues. Any other queries, friends, please? Uh, after completing all the modules, will there be any more sessions for uh, revising or for practicing purposes? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. If really doubts are there, I will clarify in the same session. Otherwise, I can take one or two sessions for doubt clarifications. Maybe after completion, of course, after one week or like that. But I can't spend complete time, right? Once if this batch got completed in the same timings, another batch will come. Okay. So try to utilize these 45 to 50 days. I will be available in these 45 to 50 days with these timings completely for you. Uh, sir, do you also have some advanced uh, Python classes later on? Uh, sir, as of now, no, sir. But uh, I am planning to uh, take uh, uh, Django, REST API, these classes in the morning session. But tentatively, as of now, it is not there. Maybe if possible, uh, in the March month, I am going to start in the morning 7 a.m. batch. Okay, okay. And, and the one you were talking about, the DSA concepts, I don't have any proper... Uh... No problem. no problem. Uh, once uh, if our DSA batch got started, I will inform you. Uh, anyway, we will create a WhatsApp group in that I will I will share. Okay. 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 But in that case, uh, I am covering the uh, this knowledge uh, in the 10 p.m. class. Mm -hmm. So will there be any overlap? Like uh, no, 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 nothing will be there. I think you are already having some experience. You know Python, right? That is sufficient. Yes. Yes. I, I am. Uh, so, data so no. see data structures dsa data structures is nothing but it is not something like a language it is a concept are you getting my point yeah yeah, yeah. so that, yeah. that that is very easy once if you know programming skills at least some 50 percent programming knowledge is sufficient to implement that but yeah there, actually basically I, am, important. Yeah. basically I am not from the exact coding background i am from telecom background but okay, uh, okay. I have moved to uh, because I have I have uh, like uh, domain knowledge. So mm -hmm. I, with with fourteen years of experience, I have moved to the AI ML team. Oh, so okay, okay, now okay. I am trying to brush up my coding skills. <laughs> okay, no problem, sir. Yeah, yeah. In Python, it is easy only. No issues. Yeah. So uh, if I continue with this class and later on I join your uh, data structure class. Hmm. No, so, issues. no issues. No like, issues. You there can, will be you no can. wall of the same type of class. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 Thank you. So you sir, can you expect this in... DSA with Python almost after 20 days, sir, not immediately. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. Sir, are you starting any new uh, Java batch? Sir, already it is there, sir. If you are willing, you can. Uh, but already it is started in the 7.30 p.m. evening, 7.30 to 8.30. <clears throat> Almost I have taken some uh, 5 to 6, not 5 to 6, around some 10 classes completed. We are at first part got completed almost. Okay. So if you want, you can go through and you can watch the recordings in this weekend and you can continue from Monday. Monday freshly I am going to start selection statements. Tomorrow, I am going to start I/O statements. Up to this, I covered like basics, number systems, data types, um, next Java features, I/O statements. So these things I covered. Okay. Okay, sir. So okay, if you sir. want, just you can go through. Uh, we are at operators. Tomorrow, I am going to start operators. Because I know the basics, sir. So okay. just wanted to know if I can join in the middle, if that will be okay. No problem. Uh, you can you can immediately. Uh, tomorrow operator's topic we are going to start. Okay. okay. Uh, do one thing. Just uh, uh, share your email ID in the chat window. I will ask admin team to share the demo class videos. So you can go through tomorrow. And if you are okay, then you can uh, make the payment and uh, get the class access from tomorrow. And this weekend, I am not taking any class for them so that you can refer the previous classes and freshly you can come for Monday. Okay, sir. I have uh, pasted my email ID. Yeah, yeah. I will ask admin team to uh, make a communication with you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir.
any queries uh, i think uh, mahmud akil i think your doubt got clarified so once if the dsa is started i will inform you but tentatively it will be around uh, uh, 20 days 22 22 25 days okay any other any other queries sir this demo class is till uh, till friday right sir today uh, today, today is wednesday right right yeah friday maybe sir two days three days two days is not sufficient i think so i will take on saturday also okay with the same link we can uh, same attend. link these three days without paying any fee happily you can attend once if you like my teaching and the way of explanation so don't see the content because at very beginning we want to go in depth right so yes. just you have to observe the way of teaching okay and the style of teaching are you able to follow up or not uh, explaining the programs how faculty is explaining the coding and the next and after that a syllabus so you can compare this syllabus in the outside like in the net or in your academics if everything is okay then you can start with a pleasant mind you have to come to the class so suppose if you are asking any doubt on selection statements now i know selection statement but now i am not in a position to explain this because so we need to focus on demo right are you getting my point Lagesh? yes sir i got it yeah that's all thank you sir. right if timing is the issue just i had already told right some 10 minutes or 15 minutes before we can start that is not a matter that we will discuss once if our regular class dot started that means on monday we will uh, make sure that if everyone is okay so 10 minutes or 15 minutes prior i will start no issues at all okay okay sir. So, so this java class is from monday to friday right sir java classes monday to friday okay sir Any other queries? Sir, is Java required for Python? Because, uh, Java? Like, is prerequisite to learn Java for Python or is directly we can take... Uh, Sir, uh, for Python, for Python, no prerequisite is required. But for Java, at least you should have some knowledge in C. But I think now no one is going to learn C and then they are going to learn Java. So now even university people are directly keeping Java and Python in their academics immediately. So as of now, in my point of view, there is no prerequisite because we are going to start from the scratch. If you don't know anything immediately, you can unmute and you can ask, sir, this is, I'm not getting this point. Can you please explain? So I don't have any option. These things will be covered in your previous languages. You have to refer like that. I can't tell, right? So some, if one or two students are unable to understand, so by taking five to 10 minutes, I have to elaborate that topic. So in my point of view, there is no prerequisite, but in Java, you will feel somewhat a difficulty at the very beginning to capture the points. But in Python, because the language itself is very easy, happily you can able to read and write. But in Java, somewhat difficulty will be there at the very beginning. Okay. Yeah, thank you. So for learning Python, there is no prerequisite like you nothing, need to nothing, know or nothing, have knowledge. Nothing, sir. Our Durga sir is going to tell one word. So if you have kids, you can bring that kids to Python class and happily they are going to learn like uh, fastly. <laughs> uh, same thing. See, everyone can able to learn. See, even uh, I have seen so many resumes uh, three days back. MBA people, they are working in uh, data science domain. Uh, the person, one, one girl, uh, he, he studied uh, something like uh, uh, biology, something related by PC, some group. So uh, she she is learning Python. She is joined in a, a recent startup company. There they are using Python tools. See, for Python, because of Python, so the world become very easy. And moreover, in the engineering colleges especially, you can see majority of the colleges are increasing the uh, CSE, uh, uh, the, what you can say, admissions. So AI, ML, so AI, DS, okay, AI, DS, like so many branches are there. So only because of this Python, easiness, so many tools, automated tools, libraries, everything. Yeah. <laughs> Chichandra is telling I am also from telecom. Yes. Any other queries? No, sir. 
right sir hope you enjoyed the demo session so tomorrow we will meet for the continuation same timings 10 pm sharp join five minutes before so tomorrow we will meet for the continuation and uh, tomorrow i won't explain this again sir matter of five minutes i will describe and uh, tomorrow i'm going to start to programming so uh, i'm not going to start immediately python i will show you how easy python is how you can able to write python code so uh, tomorrow at this in, in this particular time exactly at 11 o'clock you people are going to feel array i know 10 percent of python by attending one class i understood 10 percent of python such a type of a feeling you are going to get in the tomorrow's session trust me so attend with uh, tomorrow's demo you will get clarity right sir thank you see you in the tomorrow's class good night thank you sir thank you sir good night